Before we go into this video, I just want to thank you guys for absolutely demolishing the like goal for the US video essay. I was not expecting us to hit the 250 like goal within 10 hours, pretty much. So a massive thank you to anyone and everyone who supported that video. The next video essay, I will try and get out as soon as I can. But nonetheless, we're gonna be talking about something a little scandalous today. Mauro Icardi, our favorite Argentine striker, has been in the news again. And for all the wrong reasons. But before we get into that stuff, we need to talk about the backstory of all this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the infamous 2013 love story between Maxi Lopez, Mauro Icardi, and Wanda Nara. Before we get into the juices of the meat, we need to talk about, I guess, the surface. I'm, I'm not good with metaphors. Maxi Lopez was an Argentine striker who started his career at River Plate. He was considered a standout striker and helped his club to three consecutive titles, which then earned him a move to Barcelona in 2005. But it never worked out for him, and as a result, he became a journeyman. This is then where he'd find himself on loan at Sampdoria in 2012. Mauro Icardi, as we all know, is yet another Argentine striker, much, much younger than Maxi, too. He played at Barcelona Barcelona during his youth career, but never really worked out and he never could really break into the senior team. And as a result, he moves to Sampdoria. And this is where the two would meet. But actually, this wouldn't be the first time they've met. Because back during Maxi's Barcelona days, Mauro Icardi, as a little child, met him. Icardi claimed that the striker was his idol. And then many years later, when both parties were at Sampdoria, Lopez would help Icardi adapt to the change in environment, even offering him a place to live and cars to drive. They seemingly were an unbreakable pair of best friends. Icardi met Wanda Nara, Maxi's wife at the time, soon after. Late 2013 saw a bit of a rough patch between Wanda Nara and her husband, Maxi Lopez. Wanda would claim that Maxi cheated on her, and Maxi would deny this. So in order to save the marriage, Maxi Lopez organized a little cruise trip. This would involve him, Wanda, another couple, and Mauro Icardi. You see, Maxi didn't know exactly what was going on behind the scenes between Wanda and Icardi. This started when Wanda asked Icardi to buy an iPad for her. And of course, this wasn't just a favor. This is like when your parents take away your phone, so you then whip out the old shitty Android you had. And mind you, this was going on while Wanda was still married to Maxi Lopez. So going back to the cruise, Maxi and Wanda have an argument, which Icardi, who got a free ticket to a cruise, takes complete advantage of. Needless to say, there was a kiss shared between Maro and Wanda, and that was pretty much the end of Maxi and Wanda. A little bit later though, it was officially over between Maxi and Wanda when they got a divorce. And then after, Icardi and Wanda wasted absolutely no time to get married. But this isn't even the worst part. Icardi tattoos Maxi's three children he lost custody of on his arm. What's wrong with you? So that pretty much caps that story. Most people know that story, but if you haven't already, well, there it is. Now, let's actually talk about recent events. It's the year 2021. The love triangle is pretty much just old news that will sometimes pop back up via a yearly sports Bible copy paste. But all of a sudden, out of the complete blue, Wanda Nara on Instagram posted this on her story. In terms of the layout, it's a blank screen with text. It's kind of like one of those don't hit me up snaps. But the text on the story translates to, you have destroyed another family for a s**t. What is going on here? Maro Icardi, like a day later, posts this on his Instagram. It's just images of him and then their kids, probably not recent. Also, he posted something on his story, and despite the location tag, I, I doubt this was a recent image. And Wanda's next story post 11 hours later pretty much confirms that. It translates to, Good morning. I prefer my hand without a ring. Also a quick note, Wanda unfollowed Mario Icardi on Instagram. So just when you thought Icardi was settling down and becoming a decent human being, he goes on to do this. Am I even shocked? It, absolutely not. The thing with Icardi, right, is that there's not just the whole Wanda situation, right? There's also the many other things that he's done in his past. You guys remember that one time in his autobiography when he just threatened the Inter Ultras? But this begs the question though, an unanswered one. Who did Mauro Icardi have an affair with? So we all want to know, who is the mysterious woman Mauro Icardi is having an affair with? Well, I've done some research. I've limited to a couple people, some hypotheticals, we're gonna talk about them. So let's discuss some of my findings, shall we? So firstly, we have 
This woman right here, this is China Suarez. Apparently, a lot of news media and sources have been saying this is the woman that Mauro Icardi has been sleeping with. But you might be asking yourself, Maxwell, wh why are people saying it's China Suarez? Well, to answer your question, Juan de Nara is quite close with China Suarez. Actually, they're good friends, or they were good friends until she unfollowed her on Instagram. But if we're talking about close relationships with Juan de Nara, could it potentially be her sister? Her mother? Now this next person, it, it has nothing to do with any close relationships or anything. I, I literally just went through Icardi's following. Meet Irina Shake. I'm gonna break my wall if I keep doing this. This woman here used to date Ronaldo and also used to date Bradley Cooper, but she's been single since 2019. Coincidence? Probably. But maybe it's someone who's been outside of Icardi's main circle. Say. Aren't Kanye and Kim no longer together? I'm just saying. Okay, 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 but maybe, maybe we're looking at this a little too out and beyond. But say, PSG, you know, they may be top of the league right now, but some of their main players aren't doing so well. I'm just saying, right? Neymar's only scored a penalty so far this season. You break his bond with his sister, there's a chance you may break his bond with goals. But maybe, maybe it's not his sister. And no, I'm not gonna say his mother. You thought I was gonna say that. Have we ever thought that maybe Icardi is just bored of women? Okay, there's just one last person that I can think of. You know who that could be? You know who that could be? Well, I do. Think about it this way, shit. You know, as I recall, and Argentine joined PSG this season. And as you know, Mauro Icardi is an Argentine. And say that same Argentine hasn't exactly been doing so well. He's only scored one goal in the Champions League, and he's still yet to score in Liga. Oh my god. Hopefully you guys liked this video, it was probably the dumbest video I've made in the last two months. But a massive shout out to our patrons, Louis, Emmett Shea, Dominic Griffin, Joseph Bonfante, and Tomicus. If you'd like to join the Patreon, there's a link down below and there'll be an annotation up there. You can also follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok. I actually hit 2,000, so now let's go for 3,000, baby. And you can also follow my inactive Twitch that is somehow growing. But until then, I'll see you guys.